What's going on guys, it's Dan here from Table Tennis Daily. Today we're going to be looking at and reviewing a new top of the line range of blades by Butterfly, the Gradia series. There are three blades, the Gradia ALC, ZLC, and the T5000, which have all been designed for the plastic ball. Each blade comprises of five pliers with a really nice smooth finish. Also new to the butterfly blades is a holographic lens to stop counterfeit products. One characteristic we first noticed about these blades is how thick they are. If we compare the thickness to a traditional carbon blade, such as the Jumma Satani Super ZLC, notice how much thicker the wood is on the Gradia. To be precise, the Gradia blade series has an average thickness of 7.2 millimeters whereas the Mizutani Super ZLC has a thickness of 6mm. This core thickness helps promote speed in the blade, which has been tailored for the new 40 plus plastic ball. Each outer veneer on the Gareda blades uses Japanese Hanoki wood, which is designed to keep the soft touch, maintaining the control of the fast blades. The other trait that separates these blades are different carbon fibers used. The Gareda ALC here weighs 86 grams, the Gradia ZLC weighs 88 grams, and the Gradia T5000 weighs 94 grams. Let's take a look and see how these blades perform. Myself and Tom put the Gradia series to the test using 10 Geo 5 on both sides of the blades. The Gradia ALC comes packed with control, and its speed is very notable from the beginning. The crisp feeling is very evident with this blade, as expected with Aralite Carbon. The ALC has a low trajectory and felt slightly faster than the T-Mobile ALC. When playing against backspin using the ALC, the large sweet spot and great dwell helped counteract the spin and gave us high amounts of accuracy. During the exercise when I was playing 3.4 hands, playing at maximum pace and speed, precision in my technique was required due to the low arc of the blade. Once I had adjusted, I could really produce a lot of speed in my strokes, something which I really liked. This blade really excelled when flicking and playing counter topspins and shots close to the table. Due to the low throw generated, this helped in this department. Moving on to the Gradia ZLC. The Gradia ZLC felt fantastic and really worked well for my style of play and felt similar to the ALC in terms of dwell time. This dwell gave me high arc in my strokes, a feature that I really enjoyed with this blade as it allowed me to produce lots of spin and safety with my tot spins. When going for explosive shots, the Gradia ZLC felt very quick. I really noticed this increased dwell and sweet spot also when playing against backspin, using my backhand flick and when opening up. The ball soaked into the Hanoki's Island Carbon and created lots of rotation and spin on the ball. I really noticed this safety also when playing against backspin using my backhand flick and when opening up. The ball soaked into the Hanoki Wood and Island Carbon and created lots of rotation on the ball. This blade felt similar to the Butterfly Amulet and the Zhangjika Super ZLC, which we reviewed last year. Out of all three blades, the Grader T5000 definitely felt the fastest. This is due to its thicker core and harder touch, which works well for power players playing close to the table. Oh. 
The blade has a lot of feel, even though it's super fast, and will be suited for players who like to play flat and fast shots. This blade had the lowest arc when hitting direct shots, which helped on close range play, such as the flick. It doesn't have as much dwell as the ALC, and has quite a lot less dwell than the ZLC. This means that the ball really rockets off the bat, and has a high rebound effect, which some players may struggle to cope with. For instance, players that have a more all-round spinny game. Again, the T5000 is designed for the more aggressive power player. Here's some slow motion footage of all three blades in action at the same time. Here's a combination of match play points, where I rotate using the different blades. Conclusion The new Gradia Blade series has definitely been created and developed with the new plastic ball in mind. The blades are a lot thicker than the recent butterfly blades such as the Janjika, Tima Bowl and Jamisitani series. This thickness helps combat the plastic ball due to its increased speed and rebound effect that these blades produce. One notable feature you get with these blades is the crisp feeling and the ability to produce a quality shot with minimal effort. The softer feeling you get with the ZLC due to the outer Hinoki wood and the xylem carbon fibers give great spin and dwell in your shots. The Hinoki wood helps absorb incoming spin which particularly helps in the serve and receive area to get good bite and zip on the ball. The ZLC blade has a very good speed to control ratio and is extremely well balanced. This is definitely my blade of choice within the range as it suits my style of play well, playing mid distance to the table generating spin and safety in my strokes. However, if you're looking for something with a softer feeling, the AOC which uses traditional Aerolite carbon will be of a good choice and is similar to a T-Mobile Spirit in this department. However, the Gareda AOC is faster. Again, we feel that the Butterfly have upped the speed in their latest blades to combat the plastic ball. The T5000 really is a blade for players that want extreme power and a direct trajectory and is similar to the popular Gurgly T5000 in terms of its construction. However, the newer T5000 is much harder and faster. Overall, all three blades have exceptional craftsmanship and all have their own unique qualities and attributes, all suited to different styles of play. For more reviews on these blades and other products posted by Table Tennis Daily members and experts, check out the review center by clicking the link below where you can rate and review equipment yourself. We would love to hear your opinions and experiences with different Table Tennis products. Thanks for watching.